I'm going into the dumpster today checking out the hottest trash this season. You're not escaping. At literally at the bottom of the list. So what does that look like Korea plus zombies? Is that a kink I don't know about? Aw, oh, doesn't she look so cute? But holy crap, just go ahead and knee in her coconut. It's like if we get zombies right now, you'd have that one weird friend of yours trying to take a selfie with it. You'd have people trying to do TikToks with them. So wait a second, is this even anime? Screw the rolls, I have 420 spin-offs. And ah oh yes, the hair checks out. Is that like Joey and Yugi's kid? Where are the Dildists? These guys are trying to look for aliens. So there's the Dildists, thank you. But what the hell, remember when the Dildist was cool? Like you could freaking stab a mofo with it. Recall when I wanted to get some for my Yu-Gi-Oh club in high school? Okay, no, let's forget about that. So what even is this Walmart Yu-Gi-Oh? This is the same anime. Wait, did you just summon a bunch of monsters in one turn? Oh yes, bring on the CG cutscene for the OP cards. Hey, they're even ripping off Luna. Even Blue Eyes White Dragon is looking different these days. Oh yeah, the actual Wish Yu-Gi-Oh series, which actually low-key feels a lot more like Yu-Gi-Oh. Don't watch either. Oh, you know it's gonna be good when there's an undie shot in the opening. Watermelon and bananas? I know what one of those is used for. Now this is the type of series that YouTube likes. And not gonna lie, I might have actually stumbled into this manga back when Suncoast was around. I mean, you have high school girls fighting, getting their clothing ripped off. There's nearly 50 punch shots. Don't worry, I counted. And there's over 20, let's just call them nit slips. The worst thing about it is that they're really just doing it for the sake of doing it. It's not appealing. Just go to that site that begins with N. A demon lord that gets reborn, that goes to a magical high school, and then starts building his harem. So hey, can I copy your homework? Sure, just change it up a bit. Just watch the other anime. You're an OP isekai character that's looking for a mansion to house his harem. Perfect, come to this fantasy agency. Watch Subaru come over asking for a place to rent. But whoa, look at those mutant kids. But damn. Oh, gotcha, she just must be max level. And then the lowly fan service. Oh yeah, this is anime. And a healthy serving of pansu. Oh, but let me give you more. The main girl is packing. So in case you actually get a sick eye by Truckoon, you can look forward to this treehouse or witch's mansion that smells like a grave. I'm actually looking for apartments right now, so this actually felt fun to watch. More booba. Some blonde fan service. Might keep watching. And it's not for the fan service. You have the Onipon anime, the ex Attack on Titan studio doing this one. This should be good. The story here is that you have three Oni girls trying to change the image of their people. Oh my god, how bad is that voice acting? And it checks out. This is their first voice acting gig. Two of the girls might actually still be in high school. For their superpower, they put on their striped pansu, then it suddenly becomes this magical girl anime. So yes, the same studio that did the god tier animation Levi scene is now doing something similar but for magical girls. I almost felt like I was gonna puke. Oh, Demon Slayer is about to see your ass. Not gonna lie, this thing was entertainingly bad. Going back into the store, one of the ones a lot of you guys mentioned. This healer is a pain in the ass. But take a listen. Dark Elf no Kaura to Could this just be like an AI voice? I mean, at least the other three girls had a freaking excuse. So the story here is that you have a super weak warrior partied up with this super useless healer. I mean, she could summon the power of freaking hentai. It feels like they're trying to do the Gintama slash Konosuba type of humor, except it's just like an epic fail. Give me my time back. No joke, I was waiting for the train earlier, and I saw the ad for this, I was like, what game is that? In this Japan, every section is blocked off, and you can't move to a different area. And hey, it looks like Megumin is one of the voice actors here. You actually have these girls rescuing, aka helping some of these people escape to a different region. For example, you have this random teacher trying to become a TikTok star, or you have this Yakuza guy trying to become a freaking magical girl. Oh, so Japanese. Or you even have some freaking penguins packing. Oh, and let's not forget those penguins are communist. I'll let one of the girls give you my feelings on this. So what's more boring than watching golf? Even better, CG golf. You got the main character, blonde girl here, that's like the Yu-Gi-Oh of golf. Don't lose, sweetie, or you may get a one-way ticket with this ugly bastard. Oh, my heart went doki doki for the Gundam reference. You got this golf girl getting super drenched from seeing the fastballs in the sky. So unless you're really seriously into golf, not gonna lie, I'd rather go touch some grass. So hey, Globerworks, you really fixed your image with Dress Up Darling and Spike's family right now. This enemy really is like Naruto, but replace everyone with lolis. Really, what is this? You got episode one titled, Men Are Dangerous. 
Oh, is that the sound of Twitter typing? Really? Men are thick and hard? Not on purpose. Super random eggplant shot. I was like, no, this is not just a lowly fanservice anime. Call me naive. Until this girl popped up. And no, that is not a flesh-colored shirt, by the way. Whoa! Naruto's about to sue someone. How is this next anime rated so high? From the trapped in a dating sim name, I actually thought it was gonna be like the Bakarina anime. It's not. It really is your standard mid power fantasy anime. Oh, and don't forget the random ass Max too. I guess Demon Slayer isn't paying enough because you got Danjiro's voice actor here playing badminton this season. No joke, they even have the special breathing techniques. I mean, three episodes in, I was fighting sleep, only training, getting even worse. Now it's time for horse riding. Oh yes, and look at those wonderful CG horses. Oh my god. No joke, I wanted to drop this after the first episode. I'll literally take my horse waifus any day. Oh, you mean a sequel to an anime where the anime didn't adapt all of it? Tokyo Go and the sequel, anyone? Hey, is that Betty? Yeah, I've seen enough. You got CG, Max, girls using Max. Wait, does that robot have a freaking nutsack? That classic burning eye. Yeah, that looks cool. Oh, please don't tell me Plastic Ken is a villain. You got the robot spiders from 86. And the girl's special power is electric sperm. Oh, you mean you need a voice actor to play this traumatized, broken female character? Isn't this thing so adorable? I don't think it's outside of Japan yet, so I can't blame people for not really getting Chikawa yet. And am I the only one that thought Shikamori was massively overhyped at the beginning? I'd rather just say Tony Kaku Kawaii Season 2. But don't you worry, not Bakugo and that girl that's totally my vibe is keeping me watching. Oh, you mean that revenge subplot could only carry an Isaka anime so far? Disappointment would be an understatement for Shield Hero Season 2. But did they feel threatened by Anya? Lowly Raptalia is back. I'll forgive you a little bit. And since you're wondering what I thought about the quintessential quintuplet movie, I think my tweet speaks for itself. So go ahead and check out this video and subscribe, especially if you want to see me trashing on more anime, especially if they suck. Subscribe and I'll see you later next week.